Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 15019. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was build 15014. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with gaming, uh, more specifically game mode, beam streaming and an entirely new gaming area is now dedicated to the settings app uh, in this build. So if we jump into settings first and foremost, you'll see here there's now a new gaming area which allows you to customise a number of things including the game bar, game DVR, broadcasting and game mode. We'll jump into all of these in a minute. The game bar is a thing that's been in Windows 10 for a while when in a game you can press the Windows key and G and that'll bring up uh, a UI that uh, gives you quick access to the Xbox app. Uh, taking a screenshot or recording a clip and now it will be able to also house uh, beaming uh, streaming to beam uh, and also enabling game mode as well we'll demo that in just a second then you've got game dvr another feature that has been in windows 10 for quite some time now which allows you to record the last 30 seconds or minute and you can also just record up to an hour or two hours even which is very nice change the audio quality microphone volume system volume you can change the frames per second which is fantastic video quality so lots of customization options here, which is very nice for game DVR. Then broadcasting, which is new in this build, which is, like I said, streaming to Beam. You can choose, again, the audio quality, turn options to turn mic on when you broadcast, use auto echo cancellation, microphone volume, system volume, camera. Oh, nice. So you can enable your webcam as well, which is very nice. And then, of course, you've got game mode, which uh, ensures your, you play your games with the best possible experience. So uh, let's actually demo some of that. If we jump into... Uh, and a, a game here. I should have s some games installed, hopefully. Uh, Halo Wars Definitive Edition. Let's do it. So if we launch this one, and uh, once it boots up, with any luck. It hasn't booted up in full screen. That's funny. Give us a second. I'll uh, load into options hopefully options graphics full screen there we go so now it's full screen i can press the windows key and g and that'll bring up this bar here which now allows me to open up xbox take a screenshot uh, record that start recording or begin streaming to beam so if i press this uh, i can agree and with any luck something's happening Something's happening. Something went wrong. Try broadcasting again later. Maybe it doesn't work in this build. I don't know. I assume it does. I'm just having issues. Regardless, the option is is there now. And there's also game modes. If I enable this, what will happen is Windows 10 will start uh, allocating resources and uh, putting them towards this game so the game runs at much better performance-wise, which is very nice indeed. Why can't I broadcast? Uh, maybe it might be because of something. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, but yeah, broadcasting is here. It might work for you. It's not working for me. Uh, moving right along. Let's see what else is new in this build. Uh, if we jump back into settings, you'll notice that blue light has been renamed to night light, which is very nice. So what this basically allows you to do, as explained in the previous videos, if at night time you're looking at a screen, your brain is tricked into thinking it's looking at daylight, which makes it difficult for your brain to settle when you're going to bed after coming off the computer, for example. Turning this on will make give your screen a nice warmish colour, which uh, relaxes your brain slightly in the evenings, which is very nice. Uh, there's also improvements to the out-of-box experience. They've now added more privacy settings, so when you're setting up a Windows 10 machine for the first time, you can customise what data has been sent to Microsoft and vice versa, which is very nice. And uh, I believe that's it. Mixed Reality has a bunch of new options here, which we can see. Virtual headset display, so you can see change in all of this. Magic spaces, uninstall. Audio and speech, environment, a lot. Of, none of this is useful right now, considering uh, none of the virtual reality headsets actually work with it yet. Uh, if we jump into the update, update security area here, you'll see that there's now a whole new troubleshoot area, which uh, basically gives you lots of help into Windows, and you can run troubleshooters for every kind of issue that you might run into with Windows 10. So power issues, do it. And it will detect issues. Don't actually do that, please. Thank you. Is Halo Wars still running? Yes, it is. Let's close it out of the way. Uh, let's see what else is new. I believe that might be the most noteworthy changes. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, not a huge build, a, definitely a build that's mostly aimed at gamers. There are some smaller changes that I haven't covered, uh, such as the download bar being improved. Um, uh, again, uh, we're getting to that point now, which lots of the changes are going to be much smaller. So uh, it's very nice to see a lot of uh, these new changes showing up. Very excited for the gaming stuff to work once it finally starts working. Especially the beam streaming. I feel like beam streaming is going to be fantastic. Uh, but until then, thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.